Today we will review five questions regarding VORs and VOR navigation that you may see on the private pilot written test. The first question asks, on what course should the VOR receiver, OBS, be set to navigate direct from hampton varnville Airport, Area 1, to Savannah Vortac, Area 3? Notice hampton varnville Airport in the top right of the chart and the Savannah Vortac in the bottom left. After drawing a line with a straight edge, we can see that the hampton varnville Airport is on the 015 degree radial of the Savannah Vortac. Let's visualize what this would look like using a VOR simulator. The airplane to the top of the screen is at the hampton varnville Airport. We turn the OBS knob until the CDI needle centers to see we are on the 015 radial. The two from indicator is showing a from indication and we need to find the 180 degree reciprocal of the 015 radial to solve this problem. In order to find the reciprocal heading, turn the OBS knob until the CDI needle centers with the two from indicator showing a two indication. The CDI needle centers on a heading of 195 and there is now a two indication showing on the two from indicator. The correct answer is 195 degrees. Question 2 asks, What is the approximate position of the aircraft if the VOR receiver indicates the 245 degree radial of Sulphur Springs VOR, Area 5, and the 140 degree radial of Bonham Vortac, Area 3? To solve this problem, draw two lines. One on the 245 degree radial of the Sulphur Springs VOR and the 140 degree radial of the Bonham Vortac. The approximate position of the aircraft would be somewhere over the Glenmar Airport as shown in the chart where the two radials meet. The next question asks The VOR receiver has the indications shown. What radial is the aircraft crossing? Let's take another look at the VOR simulator to visualize this problem. To find the radial, turn the OBS knob until the CDI needle centers and there is a from indication showing. In this case, the aircraft shown in the chart is on the 030 radial of the VOR. Let's now turn the OBS knob until the CDI needle centers on a heading of 210 to match the VOR indication shown in the question as illustrated we would be flying towards the 210 radial of the VOR. Notice how the 2 from indicator shows a 2 indication. VORs can be a bit confusing at first so let's look at another diagram to illustrate. VORs transmit radials outward in all 360 degree directions similar to the compass rows shown. From the previous example, we would be flying towards the 210 degree radial and there would be a 2 indication shown. However, we are still flying on the 030 radial since that is the 180 degree reciprocal of the 210 radial as shown. Remember the 2 from indicator was showing a from indication when the CDI needle was centered on a heading of 030. The aircraft would therefore be crossing the 030 radial if the VOR had the indication as shown in Figure 5. Question 4 asks, The VOR is tuned to Jamestown VOR, and the aircraft is positioned over the town of Cooperstown. Which VOR indication is correct? The aircraft would be positioned here over the town of Cooperstown. The area around Cooperstown is located approximately on the 030 radial of the Jamestown VOR. We know that we would be flying towards the 210 radial of the Jamestown VOR and would be a little to the right of course since the town of Cooperstown is just to the right of the 030 radial. Recall from the previous problem that the 2 from indicator will show a 2 indication when flying towards the outbound radial. That would eliminate the second option in figure 6 to the right since that VOR indicator is showing a from indication. Figure 8 at the bottom is not correct since that is showing a 2 indication when turned on a heading on 030. 
the CDI needle would look like the CDI needle to the left. Therefore, the top VOR in figure 4 would be the correct answer since it is showing a 2 indication and the needle is deflected a little to the left. The last question asks. The VOR receiver has the indications shown. What is the aircraft's position relative to the station? Let's jump back into the VOR simulator to illustrate this problem. We know we would be crossing somewhere near the 210 radial of the VOR since the CDI needle shows a from indication and is deflected a few degrees to the left when turned to a heading of 210. Notice how the CDI needle deflects to the left and right as the aircraft's position changes relative to the VOR. The aircraft would be located in this area to the west-southwest of the VOR since the CDI needle shows a from indication and is deflected a little to the left when turned to a heading of 210. Conversely, if we turned the CDI to a heading of 210, the CDI needle was centered and there was a 2 indication that would mean we would be to the east, northeast of the VOR. Therefore, the correct answer for the last question is west. Thank you for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.